how to work with Fusion 360 units where you can work with feet, inches, and fractional inches displayed for you, obviously, editable, updating as you go. Coming up. So I was doing this house project and it was something I needed to work in feet and inches and even feet, inches, and fractional units. That's what I needed to work in. And I'm usually working in millimeters and decimal placeholder with Fusion 360. So how do we go about doing that? Now, when I place a rectangle, it's gonna have the dimensions all ready to go. And if you hit tab, you can uh, toggle between these two. You see this is in feet, but it is in decimal. So that's not how I wanna do this. I wanna do like 30 feet and three inches or 30 feet and two and three quarter inches, something like that. So if I type in 30 and then six inches, and I can do a plus, there's a lot of different ways I can get this format to work. When it's red, that's bad. So it's 30 feet, six inches. You can see it does the decimal. That's not what I wanted. So I'm gonna undo that. And what I need to do is go up to my preferences and change the way that this foot value or feet value <laughs> is being uh, displayed here. So come down, find this foot and inch display format, go over to fractional or architectural. So both of these would work for what I'm wanting. It's just how do you want it displayed and understood? Do you want that foot uh, call out that a single apostrophe call out in addition to the dash one inch. It's a little more clear that it's feet and inches for each value, which I sort of like. And so that's what I'm going to use. Let's do that rectangle one more time. So now when we're sketching this and I hit tab, you can see the formats already being laid out. I love this. So I see the 26 feet by six inches. So it's 26 feet, six and five and three. 530 seconds. <laughs> That's kind of a mouthful. So 20 feet, I'm going to do 28 and then six and three quarter. And what's cool is it doesn't always require, just keep in mind, it mine failed there because I didn't have, I didn't finish the value. So if I do 28 dash six inch, that'll work. I can come back in and just add a three quarter if I need that space three quarter. Now one thing I've found that it can be helpful, sometimes the dimension can be quirky and if I delete it and place it again, that sometimes will wake it up and get it behaving as I expect. So if I want six and seven eighths, I'm gonna type that in here. 27, six and seven eighths, much better. Put a dimension down here and I want twice the dimension. And then one thing I found that if uh, you're struggling with the format, which sometimes I do too, um, you can just fill these in instead of, you know, kind of writing it from scratch. That can sometimes be a little easier. Um, or just write it from scratch. Just remember the uh, kind of formatting that you need to follow for Fusion to understand what you want. Hey, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.